Well, I'm a physiotherapist in a private practice here in Norway. At the moment, I work here at Gandalf Tapio Training after finishing my master's in Curtin University, yeah. not MSK Physio. Oh, good. So you just come back fresh from your master's. Yeah. So uh, what made you too interested to come on the course uh, for this weekend? Um, because I've heard of you through Curtin University okay. and uh, really enjoyed the podcast. and I found it very interesting and I found that I needed even more information about how to assist it and was keen on getting more uh, exercises to give my patients and tips. Yeah, and what sort of things you, you felt you possibly struggled or found difficult with hip and groin which made you to think I'm on the course? Well, to be honest, before I went to Curtin, I didn't really have a systematic approach to how to assess the hip and uh, we started that and uh, I know that you're expert on that so it was to get even more a better way to structure my assessment and um, from there yeah to apply the right uh, rehab from that that way on yeah mm. and obviously you know today we've gone through a lot of information it's difficult to go through everything but what are the things you found you personally found useful which you think you might start using in your clinic well i really like your way of thinking of layers and assessment, it mean it makes it easier and less complicated, yeah. I think. And um, uh, also, I really like to see your way of approaching every phase, so that it's a, you have a lot of knowledge and tips how to calm down uh, different types of pains and then how to take them stepwise from there. Um, Yes, and um, I think you have a way of making it what's complicated easier. <laughs> yeah, a simple yeah. structure. Yes, right? and also we went through exercise and other thing. Do you think you could start applying that to your uh, population and other? Yeah. What sort of exercise? Do you think you can use those exercises Absolutely. and the manual techniques and things like that? Yes. Mm. So what's good is that you have a little bit of both manual techniques, tips for that, and then also a lot of rehab exercises so yeah definitely something I can go to my clinic and do mm. straight away yeah and you feel like it's giving you more confidence to start approaching patients absolutely yeah definitely so, so in the future if I'm coming to Norway or somebody else for your colleague mm. is thinking of attending a course with me what would be your uh, opinion to your colleagues what would you say to them I would say that by taking this course you definitely get a way uh, well a good system of how to approach something that seems complicated and difficult and make it easy and that it's a good chance to learn from the best <laughs> thanks for my name is uh, Hohan Ovas and I'm a chiropractor in Norway okay uh, looking to to learn new new things about the hips to get updated information uh, clinical tips and clinical pearls uh, but also more hands-on in, in terms of training, in terms of uh, assessment. Mm -hmm. So the, the hip and groin, is it something you found it quite challenging to treat or what is your experience with the hip and groin before? It is, it is a complex area, so it's, uh, it's easy to miss things, it's easy to go down the wrong management way. So it's, um, it was a good, good thing to get a complete overview of, uh, of the most common hip problems. Okay. And obviously we've gone through a lot during the few days. Mm -hmm. What are the things you think you find you, you found useful so far and you might think of using it in your clinical setting? Well, it, uh, immediately I think of the categorizing of the different diagnoses and how to, how to take the, to the correct history and uh, physical examination, but also how to tailor exercise progression On with that. the patients. Yeah. I would say this is the most comprehensive uh, uh, HIP course I know about, so go for it. Thank you, thanks for your time.